It's a good day to take care of yourself. Let's go for a run. Today, we're going to Ferry Point Park. We're here in Throgsneck, which is a fancy part of the Bronx, but more than anything, people love to argue about how many G's are in the spelling. If you travel around the neighborhood, you'll see both T-H-R-O-G-S and T-H-R-O-G-G-S. So quickly, what's in a name? When the Dutch took the land away from the Siwanoi and New York was called New Amsterdam, they let an Englishman named John Throckmorton settle the area. The land is a peninsula, so they called it Throck's Neck. Some maps from the 1600s label it as Frock's Neck, but my favorite story is when our old boy and America's founding father, George Washington, was here in the South Bronx, and he kept writing in his war notebook that the Redcoats could potentially invade from Frog's Neck. Anyway, here at Travel the Bronx, we recently committed to running a 5K to raise money for the Bronx Zoo to support wildlife and needed a spot to train for the race. We knew that Ferry Point was large, freshly paved, and safe. What we didn't know was how spectacular the views would be. It's one and a half miles of waterfront and views of the Manhattan skyline where the East River meets the Long Island Sound. If you complete the circuit twice, that gives you your three miles or five kilometers. You can bike or drive here, and not very New Yorkerly, the parking is currently plentiful and free. There is a complex with clean bathrooms, a place to rack your bike, and it's ADA accessible. There's a batting cage, two cricket fields, basketball courts, and of course, soccer fields. The New York City ferry that now lands in Soundview will expand to Ferry Point here in Throg's Neck in 2021. Okay, so you have the insider's guide on a great place to run, but you're in the Bronx and you know there's more. What if I told you to step off the track? Boom! Bonus hike. Follow me just past this gate. Start your adventure at the foot of a giant, the Twins of the East, the Whitestone and Throgs Neck Bridge. If you come to the park on the 4th of July, you get three times the celebration. You can see fireworks go off simultaneously in the Bronx, Queens, and Manhattan. Along the way, you find a secret garden called the Living Memorial Grove. This is truly special. These trees were transplanted from the area where the attacks took place on the World Trade Center on September 11th. These survivor trees honor all those affected and now grow strong in the Bronx. The effort was a gift made possible by the combined efforts of the New York City Parks and Rec and real life royalty. His Serene Highness Albert II of Monaco from the princely House Grimaldi. While that sounds super Game of Thrones, he's the real deal. Dude lives in a castle in Europe and has his own kingdom. If you grab a saltwater fishing permit for free online, you can catch fresh striped bass right here. The OG chef Anthony Bourdain, RIP, enjoyed a family cookout right here in Ferry Point Park for his show back in 2014. So you know what, what I've noticed already? The Bronx is big. You can bring your family here and do the same because there are so many picnic tables and barbecue stations set up just for you, and again, all for free. So there you go. This is possibly one of the most scenic runs you'll have in this entire city, and very likely, you'll have it all to yourself, depending on what time you come. Sunrise and sunset here are breathtaking. One last thing, if you do come on the weekend in warmer months, get ready for a carnival of culture. Vendors from Caribbean, Mexican, Central American, and West African backgrounds will have so many delicious treats that you'll want to try them all. And if you do, you just may have to come back during the week for a run. Thank you for watching.